How can we distinguish between primary, secondary, tertiary amines through a chemical reaction? That is through Hinsberg test. What is mean by a primary amine and secondary amine then tertiary amine? Dear all, it's very easy to understand by the structure which is primary, secondary, tertiary amine. The primary amine which contain NH2 group, they contain NH2 group and secondary amine which contain NH group and tertiary amine which contain a nitrogen like this. Or you can analyze in another way. If the nitrogen, if the nitrogen connected to a one carbon, just one carbon. If the nitrogen connected to just one carbon, you can call primary. If the nitrogen connected to two carbon atom, it is called secondary. If the nitrogen connected to three carbon, you can call it as tertiary. That's also another way. Okay, so simple way you can analyze from the compound the structure which is primary, secondary, tertiary amine. If it contain NH2 group, it's primary. NH group, secondary. N, that's called tertiary. But the question, how you can analyze or how you can distinguish these three compounds through a chemical reaction that we are discussing through Hinsberg test. So dear all, if you want to carry out a reaction, we need a reagent, right? So if you want to carry out Hinsberg test, we need a reagent. The reagent is known as Hinsberg reagent. Hinsberg reagent. What is chemically Hinsberg reagent? That's very important. Hinsberg reagent, we can call it as benzene sulfonyl chloride. Once again, everyone, Hinsberg reagent is also known as benzene sulfonyl chloride. Let me draw the structure. You know, benzene, all right. Sulfonyl means sulfur with the two oxygen atom through two double bond and remaining chlorine. This is called benzene sulfonyl chloride or we will call it as aryl sulfonyl chloride. Why aryl? The aromatic ring is there? No, benzene. So Hinsberg reagent is called benzene sulfonyl chloride. This is the structure. Now let's see what happened when primary, secondary, tertiary amines reacted with Hinsberg reagent. Let's see. Dear all. Primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. Okay, let us treat it with Hinsberg reagent. Let me take a general formula of the amines. You know, general formula of a primary amine, we can call it as RNH2. Yes, they contain NH2 group. General formula of a secondary amine is RNHR, right? NH group is there, two carbon will be there. And here we can write R, N, R, R. The alkyl group can be same or different. Okay. Now, now let us treat with our reagent. What is that? Hinsberg reagent. All of you take your Hinsberg reagent. I'm just writing like this. You know, Hinsberg reagent which contain benzene, sulfonyl, chloride. Okay. This is the Hinsberg reagent. Here also. Benzene sulfonyl chloride ready here again benzene sulfonyl chloride okay dear all let us react okay what happens to the product i'm not going for the entire mechanism of this reaction how to write the product directly and how to identify through this test which is primary, which is secondary, which is tertiary. Dear all, a shortcut method we can follow here. When a primary amine you treated with the Hinsberg reagent, that is our benzene sulfonyl chloride, you have to do this one. From your amine, take one hydrogen and this chlorine, what we want to remove? HCl. Alright, so remove HCl and write your product. Okay, so H and Cl eliminate remaining compound, you fuse together. What do you get? Uh, R, all right, R, NH2 from which you remove already one hydrogen. What is remaining? 
N H, all right, N H. Then this chlorine already removed. Now sulfur, sulfur, double bond O, double bond O. Then remaining benzene ring. This is the compound what we have. Yes or no? So when any primary amine treated with uh, this compound, Hinsberg reagent, this will be the form of the product. Okay. So primary amine reacting with the Hinsberg reagent. Correct? Yes. Now secondary amine when treated with Hinsberg reagent, what can happen? Same thing, right? Hydrogen, chlorine, eliminated as HCl, you will get the product R, N, R. And it is connected to sulfur. Sulfur, double bond O, double bond O, and there is a benzene ring. All right. Then what about tertiary? I mean, all of you please observe. Can you identify any dissimilarity with uh, the tertiary amine? Tertiary amine, yes, there is no hydrogen to react. Correct. There is no hydrogen to react with that chlorine. So we can say that there is no reaction. Dear all of you. Tertiary amine, there is no reaction with the Hinsberg reagent. So tertiary amine, its uh, chapter is over. Because tertiary amine, we can easily identify. So if your teacher giving to you two test tubes, around three test tubes, one with primary, one with the secondary, one with the tertiary amine, when you add Hinsberg reagent to each of them, if there is no reaction, we can call it as that is a tertiary amine. So tertiary amine chapter over. But there is a problem. Primary amine and secondary amine both are reacting with the Hinsberg reagent and we are getting product. So how can we identify which is primary, which is secondary? Both are actually white color also, the products, white residue. How can we identify which is primary, secondary, tertiary? We are all primary and secondary, right? Carefully all of you, you can see that the product which we get in the primary amine treated one, can you see on nitrogen atom, there is a hydrogen in the product. Let me tell you what is the name of the product. What is the name of the product dear student? The nitrogen which is connected to one alkyl group. This is called N-alkyl. Nitrogen connected to what alkyl group? Therefore, it's called N-alkyl benzene sulfonamide. This is called N-alkyl, N-alkyl benzene sulfonamide okay benzene sulfonamide this is the product name so what is the name of the secondary amine reacted product here nitrogen connected to two alkyl groups so we can say n n dialkyl n n dialkyl remaining is what benzene sulfonamide okay N N dialkyl benzene sulfonamide and tertiary amine we already said there is no reaction now come to the point again the question is this one tertiary amine there is no problem there is no reaction with the Hinsberg reagent that is safe but primary and secondary amine both of them are reacting with the Hinsberg reagent we are getting two products so how can we distinguish which is primary secondary we are all as I told you the primary amine which contain on the nitrogen atom in the product side, you can see there is a hydrogen atom. This hydrogen is, we can call it as a acidic hydrogen. It is a acidic hydrogen. In the product side, the nitrogen carrying hydrogen is a acidic hydrogen. Why it is acidic? Why it is acidic? Because it can leave as H plus ion. Why? Dear student, this hydrogen is connected to sulfonyl group. Sulfonyl group, right? Sulfonyl group is a electron withdrawing group. SO2, right? SO2. It is a electron withdrawing group. So they will try to withdraw the electron from the system. So you can leave this hydrogen as H plus ion outside. So it is acidic in nature. So all of you, the primary amine reacted with the Hinsberg reagent. We will get the compound N-alkyl. N-alkyl benzene sulfonamide. This product contain a acidic hydrogen. This hydrogen on nitrogen is acidic in nature because the group it, it is connected withdrawing group. If there is a withdrawing group in the system, the acidic hydrogen, the, hydro, the acidity of the hydrogen increases. Then what about secondary amine reacted product? 
in this case can you see such a hydrogen on nitrogen on the nitrogen both are alkyl group therefore we wrote n n di alkyl there is no acidic hydrogen that is the difference so dear all we can write that in this first product in the first product we can say there is a acidic hydrogen in the compound therefore they are soluble in alkali for example NaOH NaOH is an alkali right the compound is acidic why this compound is acidic because there is a acidic hydrogen so the compound is acidic if the compound is acidic they can soluble in an alkali right base what about the secondary product the product it we are getting in the second step this compound having no acidic hydrogen so what we can say there is no acidic hydrogen so this compound is not acidic therefore this is soluble in alkali therefore it is insoluble in alkali insoluble in alkali for example NaOH so it is very clear to distinguish them yes or no so primary and secondary tertiary amines are distinguished by a chemical test called Hinsberg test during Hinsberg test what is Hinsberg reagent once again benzene sulfonyl chloride a benzene sulfur double bond O double bond O and one chlorine when you treat Hinsberg reagent with primary amine it will react HCl eliminated we are getting the compound N alkyl benzene sulfonamide when a secondary amine reacted again HCl removed you will get N N dialkyl benzene sulfonamide but tertiary amine there is no hydrogen on tertiary amine there is no reaction but primary and secondary I mean both are reacting then what we have to understand how can we identify because both of these products are white in color how can we identify dear student first compound if you dissolve if you add some alkali into the system for example NaOH if it is dissolving you can say yes your amine is primary if the to the test tube if you add one alkali suppose it is not dissolving you can say it is secondary amine why the first product contain one acidic hydrogen the hydrogen is acidic mean the, it make the overall compound acid so acid it is dissolved in alkali but here there is no acidic hydrogen so cannot dissolve in one clear everyone this is the test we are using to distinguish between primary secondary tertiary amines this is from your chapter amines grade 12 hope you clear right thank you all